Hello, I'm Nikolai. Welcome to Spoke Wanderer. Let's roll. Now here you see most likely a bunch of jackets are laying. Now I bet this one, you know, this is my classic Tour Attack Combanero summer jacket. Now most of you know it and uh, yeah, this is now see. Uh, it fits so nice. Um, it has very good protection and all. I like the colors actually as well. It's super comfy. But after now 14 years having it, I bought it back in, no, actually 13 years, sorry. After uh, 13 years having it, I bought it back in 2010. I think it's time for uh, yeah, change. So most of you, you know this jacket here, the climb induction jacket, which I was wearing in my last video. Um, I like this uh, jacket, it's very nice, it's comfy, a very nice design and absolute fantastic material. Now, it is this American cut, which I not necessarily like. As you can see, I hope you can see that it's a little bit white. And uh, here also it's, uh, yeah. Now, comparing these two jackets um, is well, this is a pure standalone summer mesh jacket, as you all know, uh, with big mesh panels everywhere. Uh, but Climb has this American cut, which is maybe not um, really my piece of cake. I mean, uh, fantastic jacket, super materials, um, absolutely top notch in this price range. And uh, I think for city cruising and things like that, or just to spin around uh, on a weekend, uh, or even a weekday, or going to the office, this jacket in summer is absolutely perfect. Now, this one is just this, it doesn't have mesh, it has just textile material. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's fantastic as I said, but I have something uh, new. Uh, which is totally different than what I have been thinking before. So what you see here now, that's something new. Now, I went a total different way. I wanted to originally have maybe also from Revit the uh, Tornado, but I decided I go for this Knox, which is made in UK, the Urban Pro Utility MK3 version. Um, I think it's pretty cool design. Has back pocket here in the back, which you can store something. It has these big pockets here, mobile pockets here. Very cool. Here you can uh, put a chest protector when you go somewhere. And as you can see now, I have a red uh, Ducati shirt under. I hope you can see this nicely. It, the red you can see through actually. So you, there you can see what amount of mesh you get in this jacket. Now, in the main body there is no liner, only in the back where the back protector is, uh, but you have it in the arms. So at the moment I'm wearing sh short sleeve. Usually when I go I have this um, base layer which is a long sleeve, which even in hot weather it is much more comfortable than a short sleeve. Um, here on the neck certainly it doesn't have a, yeah, a collar, it's just low. Uh, but, I mean, definitely you're going to wear something around your neck. Um, one, to avoid a draft from the wind. Two, to avoid a sunburn maybe in this weather out here. But next week I'm going to test it together. Now, now for this one, for the Tour Attack Combanero, uh, this is the inner summer jacket and uh, at the moment the Gore-Tex membrane, uh, the outer jacket, which you also can theoretically wear standalone when you're somewhere. I um, um, left it back in Europe, so this would be one combination. When you see the climb induction, this is a pure standalone mesh jacket, same as this riding shirt from Knox. Uh, it's a pure mesh jacket, so you have to have different layers. So for that, 
not, not necessarily because this uh, is a pure jacket, so maybe you have a, a separate drain uh, layer underneath or uh, on top. Now, same is uh, what Knox offers. I didn't get a Knox um, waterproof layer or thermal layer. Uh, thermal layer, most likely here I don't need uh, because temperatures are not really dropping below, let's say the, la the, the coldest what I've seen was 18 degrees. So you don't, this is not necessarily need it. Uh, yes, maybe outside. And for that, also for the waterproofing, I got something totally different what I actually didn't, or actually wasn't considering. I got actually a motocross uh, jacket from LEED. Uh, here we have the Moto, uh, Jacket Moto 4.5 Hydra Dry. Now, I'm not sponsored by LEED, nor by Knox, nor by the other brands which I showed here. So this, I just want to highlight this. I buy, bought all from my expenses on, because of my own choice, you know. But I was uh, pretty amazed about this, that they go biodegradable so, and uh, support uh, a little bit the nature. So let's take it out. Here it is. Now I think this is uh, something totally different, you know, uh, than what I wanted to have before, because one, it's quite small, so you can pack it quite small. It's super light, and when you take it off, so this is the uh, that. And when I just need some waterproofing or some thermal proofing here in this weather, because last year I had the rain ride and I didn't have anything, I just pull it over. Yeah, see, this is not even cut off yet. And it fits, and it fits perfectly uh, over the jacket. So if you need a little bit of breathability, you can open here. You have here air vents, you have here some pocket where you can put some uh, uh, paperwork, documents or something in. Here as well. You have the pockets here on the side. Hand warmers. You have here in the back. You have also some way... Okay, so now you can see. Let me take it off. Here for your emergency contact. Well, you can hopefully you can see that. Here in the back, also some air winds on both sides. Yeah, very cool, very cool. And another pocket here on the back as well, if you want to store something here. See, there's another pocket here on your back. Yep, this is my basically new summer jacket and for protection when it's raining. Okay, it's enduro style, but uh, yeah, let's see how it looks. Uh, now, trouser wise. Honestly speaking, I didn't make my mind up yet. Uh, I'm most likely going to go for, uh, still stick in this regards to Revit. Uh, and they're uh, most likely, I'm going to go for the Sand 4 uh, trouser. First, I was planning to have the Tornado 3 from Revit. I chose the Knox. Uh, well, you know me, I'm a gadget freak and I'm a gadget fan and I love my gadgets. So. Uh, till I got the perfect thing, I'm gonna try several things, even though I'm not sponsored by now. So, uh, next time when you see me wearing this gear is on the bike, and I'm gonna tell you then how it is in comparison uh, with my climb. Uh, the Tour Attack is out of the game by now, so to say retired, uh, but this one definitely with something black under because I think you can see the red shirt under. 
Uh, so, well, I don't, not that I mind it, uh, I actually don't care, but I think black on black looks more nice. So, uh, leave me down a comment. If you have any experience with the Nox uh, so far, be it the MK2 or the latest MK3, uh, be it the utility or the regular, um, yeah, very nice, even though inside it feels absolutely fantastic, it's comfy, stretchy and all. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, definitely hit the subscribe button, support my channel uh, and I'll be back soon with uh, many more videos uh, which I'm working currently on. Sorry that it was so quiet around the channel. I'm Nikolai, Yusfog Wanderer, ciao for now.